Well, it's hard to know how to begin a video like this. <laughs> I'm already starting. Um, I'm just gonna blurt it out and then we'll give you details. Um, this morning, Chapel passed away, our cat. So if you've followed me, um, then you'll know that um, Ashley, when, when we uh, moved from one house to this house, I told her, I said, I wanted to make it fun for her, you know, and something for her to look forward to. So she said, if we move, can I have a cat? And I said, yes, you can have a cat. So Because we had a cat years, a few years before that. Before right. That. And so I said, yes, you can have a cat. So when we moved into this house in 2012, we uh, went on a search for a cat. And it was harder to find a cat than you would think because we were looking at the wrong time of year. Uh, it wasn't during the summer when apparently there's lots of cats. Um, it was during uh, the winter. It was in, um, uh, well, we moved in here like December 5th, 2012, I believe. So it was that time of year. And uh, so we, she saw some cats and they just didn't bond with her or one way or another. And um, so then we met Chapel at Pets, sorry, we met Chapel at Pets Mart and um, she immediately had a bond with him. So we, um, we brought him home and uh, he was so rowdy, just like any kitten. She thought, what have I done? That's literally what she thought. She was it's just like, what have I done getting this cat? Because he's just wild. Um, but it was all, he was always Ashley's cat. And um, we had Guido, we had our pug, Guido. And um, so we, we devoted most of our attention to Guido. And then Chapel was here, but he was Ashley's. And I would say until Ashley moved out a couple, has it been a year? Seems like it's been a while. Um, Ashley decided to leave Chapel here with us because he's a very, very sensitive cat. He has a wonderful personality. And she, I didn't know this was gonna be this hard to talk about it. She decided to leave him here because he's very, very sensitive and she knew that he wouldn't do as well if he, she moved him into a new place. And she was working, teaching and stuff. She wasn't gonna be home all the time, so. Right, so yeah. she left him here. And um, I think that was the best decision. Oh yeah, he was much happier being, cause you're home all the time. I've been home all the time now uh, too. Yeah. Um, but he, um, he would have had somebody here with him all the time. Whereas with Ashley, he wouldn't have. So he would have been a little more depressed if he'd been with her because right. he wouldn't have, wouldn't have had anybody here all day long. But once Ashley left, we we had a schedule. Mm -hmm. We had things that we would just naturally do. I mean, and he knew those things and he would hold us to those things because it just the simple things like the couch at night I would get up and I would, uh, it would be time to, to go back to the bedroom to, to go to bed. And even though I would leave, he would sit right there next to Kevin until he was like, but you know, you need to get up and you need to go too. You know, he would just, he was, uh, I said the other day, he was like a herding dog. Yeah. Uh, he, 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 he had his uh, definite habits and his schedule and he would sit next to you and look at you and talk. And he had such a wonderful, wonderful personality. Um, this came as a complete shock this morning um well he's been he's been kind of breathing not heavy like panting or anything but just a deeper like a deeper breath yeah like, because about a week ago I, I looked at him he was laying on the floor and i said he's breathing you could just see his whole body was moving but he never like panted with his mouth open no really. no uh, and he's always been kind of a heavy breather anyway yeah, so, so we didn't think, I thought, okay, he's, he's breathing a little heavier, but I mean, it wasn't, he didn't act like he was in pain or anything right. like that, Never or he still was doing the same thing. And, and we know how stressful it was for him to go into his carrier, to go to the vet, I mean, it's super stressful. Yeah. So, um, so we try not to do it any more than we had to. Yeah. So last night, he started up with the, kind of the panting with his mouth open occasionally, you know, he yeah. would do... 
was, well, and his nostrils would yeah, flare. He was, he was breathing a little deeper and, and faster. Right. Um, so, you know, last but night. But it was light. It was really light. So it's like, well, he's, he's, he's done this before. Because he had. He's done that before where it would last you know, an hour or two, and then he would go on and be fine. But he'd be fine, yeah. yeah. So so we said, well, well, we'll see what he's like in the morning. If he's still doing the same thing, we'll take him to the vet. So that's what we did. We put him in his carrier. Um, of course, he didn't like it. And um, he um, went to the vet, and luckily, I mean, I just went up, to, you have to sign in or check in now and outside, and you wait in your car. Well, fortunately, um, someone we've known for years um, that works there came out and said, how's it going? And Tammy said, it's not going well. He's, he's really, really struggling to breathe. And so she came out and took a look at him. She goes, I'm going to take him, go ahead and take him in and, and we'll be back. So that she took Chaplin by himself and we sat in the car. We waiting. sat out in the car. And um, it was five or 10 minutes later, uh, the doctor came out. Um, super sweet. You could tell she was upset about it too and she said, was. and said, he's gone. Um, there was nothing else I could do. She said, I tried to intubate him. Um, I did CPR on him and tried to get his oxygen up and try to get him going again. And, and just nothing she could do helped. So, um, they suspect it was a heart condition that cats get. It's a pretty common, um, condition cats get. Um, she said he's probably had it for a long time and it's just really never, um, got to this point. And um, she also told us no matter what we, even if we, even if we got in there um, the day or two earlier and they could have quote fixed it for right then, it would have prop, cropped up again. She said it would have caught anyway. up with it, them. It, it she said it would have taken yeah. over anyway. So, so, so no matter what, he it would have got to him. Um, so, so yeah. So that's. But we were that. able to go inside. Uh, they told us we could come in and see him, and he was. Um, on um, a blank, a towel. Yeah. Probably somebody donated one of those donuts. That's people what it looked like. The people yeah. donate towels and blankets and um, stuff to them. But he was lying there when we got to pet him, and he so was like, Yeah, he was still soft and beautiful. And so, um, so then we, so we're gonna get him like we did Guido. We're gonna get him uh, cremated and put him in a little box and with his paw print, probably like just like Guido did. Um, and he's going to be in the same size box, I bet, because he's as big as Guido was. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> so he's a big cat. So, um, so anyway, so that, that's the story, you know, um, you, you miss them because you're such a used to, to him being there and, and talking to you, rubbing on. And what was sad was this morning, he was, you know, rubbing on our legs and, and, um, wanting attention and stuff, but he wasn't acting himself either. No, so. cause I, I got up to, well, I slept in longer. And it was because he wasn't yeah. at my head. Because he me has up. this habit at seven o'clock, he wakes us up every morning. Yes, and he knows he has claws, but he knows he'll just like a fingernail. He'll take just a me barely a tip, and he'll just poke <laughs> me <laughs> like get up, yeah. and it doesn't hurt me. But it's like a woman with her fingernail poking you, you know. And uh, so I slept in a little while, and I immediately, I mean. First thing I do when I get up is go to the bathroom. I didn't even go to the bathroom. I went on a search of the house for Chapel. And, um, he was in my bathroom floor. He, he was back in Kevin's bathroom. But um, yeah, so I knew something was wrong and then I, I fed him and by him not wanting to eat. Yeah, he went in there and sniffed at it, but he didn't, he didn't actually. Yeah, then I knew. And uh, so, yeah, I'm just shocked that he's gone. It happened quickly. That's why it's so sudden. It's a sudden shock, you know? Yeah. Um, well, with Guido, it was a sudden thing, too. I mean, we, we kind of knew he was gone that that morning, but the night before, we, we wouldn't. And Guido was gone. a lot older. Chapel yeah. was only nine years yeah, old. Nine. And, or he would have been this this year. Um, so, in our our last cat lived to be uh, twelve. Wow. He lived to be twelve. So he was meaner though. Meaner, you know, the lot the little. He he. I'm I'm glad we had him, but uh, he didn't have the personality of Chapel. Chapel had a wonderful personality. Yeah, rubbing on strangers when they come in the yeah, door. Yeah, anytime and... workmen would come in here to do something, he was all around. Him. My dad, he wouldn't leave my dad alone. Um, didn't like Ashley though. She, he would try to bite her toes. He, I remember Ashley bringing certain people in here, and he didn't, like he didn't like Ashley bringing certain people in here. And he, I remember him getting up behind them on the couch and hissing in their <laughs> ear. You know, uh, I believe he. I don't think he liked Jennifer. No. 
Um, I can remember uh, my aunt Pat's and in the den, and her wearing those big sunglasses. He, yeah, she, he scratched yeah. Her at Christmas. She had these sunglasses on, and uh, Ashley said he he doesn't like sunglasses, and she said, "Well, I can't help that, you know." But <laughs> he was just. Um, he had a wonderful, wonderful personality, and um, he uh, he will absolutely be missed very, very much because, you know, once Ashley had moved out, Kevin and I really, he was a part of our day. He was, he was like another person here, and even last night in the bed, I was reading my book with <laughs> one hand, and he had his, his his, I say his arm, his arm outstretched up, up my uh, chest, and I would rub him. So I'm holding my book, and I'm rubbing his paw. Just he's like, literally laying there stretched Yeah, out. just like I would rub Kevin's arm. You know, I was rubbing his arm, and he... Um, uh, but he couldn't settle last night either. He would no. try to get up and walk around. Yeah. But for those that may ask, we don't plan on getting anything else, um, no other pets. No. Um we, we had decided that a long time ago that we weren't, but I know that some of you may want to know, are we going to get another cat or dog? We, we haven't planned on getting any other pets. You and never I, know what the future might hold, but for right now, we're not going to get any. Um, yeah, I'll never say never. Um, yeah. And I guess that's a natural question that people ask. Yeah. But uh, I, I hate that question. Cause it's so that's like, why I'm asking. That's why I'm answering it now. So if you watch this, you'll know. Yeah. You don't have to ask because we, we don't plan. Because it's like well, we we just lost a loved one. I mean, this is a loved one. This is part of our family, and you you I, basically asking me if I'm gonna replace them. And I know you're not replacing them, but you're. It does fill a void. It fills, it fills a, a void. Hole. It fills a hole. But sometimes I think it's healthier to to give yourself time to process what happened and to grieve. I think that if you fill that void too quickly, you don't go through a full uh, grieving process. And um, I don't know. I, I think uh, that could be helpful just to allow yourself time to grieve too. So uh, we, as of, as of right now, while we're filming this, we have not told Ashley. Mm -hmm. Ashley is at school. She's teaching. Uh, we don't want to. Uh, we will. We will tell her this afternoon. I, I plan on telling her, texting her, and telling her to come over. Um, I don't want to tell her over the phone uh, because you see what happens when I start talking about it. I just start crying, and I I, I want her to be here so that I can comfort her. And uh, so we will tell her this afternoon. But I wanted to uh, uh, to make this video by itself because I actually took some vlog footage this morning of him. Because we weren't expecting anything. We weren't expecting him to die. So I was showing him. I said, this is Chapel and he's breathing heavy and we're going to take him to the vet. And I showed Kevin putting him in his carrier. And then I showed him us at the vet at, at sitting outside in the car. I'm not going to include any of that in the vlog this week uh, because I don't want that memory of him being sick like that on film. I just, I don't want it. I might keep it for a private, I don't know, but I, I just don't want it on, on camera. So um, I'm not going to include that in the vlog this week. So I, um, I appreciate you all listening and I'm sorry. And I know you all are sorry for it too. So, 